I think that there's something very um, freeing about Agatha, about witches in general, that there's something very uh, empowering. Empowering. <laughs> Manson from Argentina. How are you today? Good, thank you. Good, thanks. So glad. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm a huge WandaVision fan. So it's so nice to have our show because uh, about a character that is so well known and loved for the fans. Why do you think um, the character of Agatha resonated so much with the public, with audiences? Oh, that's a good question. I think that. Um, I think that there's something about her brazen saying what she feels and saying what she wants and, mm -hmm. you know, not concerning herself with like all the social norms of like having a partner, having like a be, you know, whatever, being a mother, being all the stuff that you're supposed to like have as a person is like not something that she is concerned with. She, and yeah. I think that there, and she's funny. I think that there's something very um, freeing about Agatha, about witches in general, that there's something very uh, empowering. empowering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Um, the question of identity is very important in this area, right? Mm -hmm. For both of your characters. But um, what did it mean this uh, to you personally, and maybe specifically Joe? I mean, Teen's identity is, is one of the big, you know, mysteries of the show, and he's he's got this mystery about him, which you know Agatha's intrigued by, um, and. It was really fun to, mm. to play a character that has secrets and hidden layers, you know. Um, yeah, it was really fun. And uh, without any spoilers, why do you think he's so important to Agatha and she likes him so much? Well, you know, to kind of piggyback on that question before, <laughs> teens in general are very mercurial. And it's a, it's like a, it's always kind of like drawing water from an empty well. Like they just don't want to give anything. And I think that there is that withholding that is um, a tr interesting to Agatha. And the fact that she, you know, wants something to from him and he wants something from her. And so like he was saying, there's definitely a mystery there. And um, I, th I think that there's, I don't know, I, I don't want to describe anything else, but um, there is like a weird awakening of feeling inside Agatha that she hasn't had in a long time. Yeah, and talking about this awakening, I mean, in one division we saw a uh, trauma process through sitcoms. In Agatha, we've seen references to Wicked and True Crime and other fictional scenarios. Uh, what do you think you, Catherine and Joe, would, uh, where do you think you would end up uh, in what fictional scenario you would end up? The Goonies. Mm. I'd love to, like, as a kid, I wanted to be one of the kids in the Goonies. Mm -hmm. Aww. I still do, actually. Yeah, I'd still would. do. Yeah. <laughs> If anyone is making the next Goonies. Yeah. Yeah. And what about Marvel? Were you fans of Marvel before joining this world? Yeah. I, I, I used to watch all the Marvel films when I was younger. Still do, obviously, but... You grew up with them, right? Yeah. Uh, the MCU started when I was five. Oh my gosh. When Iron Man oh. came out, the first one. So, I really grew up with it. And who was your favorite character? Black Widow or Hawkeye? Mm. Oh my God, that's the best response. <laughs> what about you, Catherine? I mean, I I grew up with with Marvel films through my kids, and so I remember, and also like, 
kind of, it was like I did, those were the movies that I kind of loved taking them to because I, I loved the mythology of it all, the scale, the kind of like Greek, kind of like meh. Um, so I loved all of that. There's, I mean, there's so, the characters are so interesting. I really love Loki. Mm. Um, yeah. Really love Loki. That's a great answer. Um, unfortunately, we're out of time, but thank you so much, guys, for your time, and I hope to see you soon in some other Marvel project. Yes. Thank Thanks. Thank you so much.